Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and to my first video about my coloring. My name is Taya, I've been coloring for several years already, but I've only been posting photos to my Instagram account so far. And finally I decided to create my YouTube channel and to share some videos with you. So I decided to begin with my coloring book collection and all my colored pages. Today I want to show you two books by Johanna Basford that are special for me. My friend Aggie gave them to me as a gift in 2015, and uh, that's where it all started. So let's begin with Secret Garden and the first page that I colored. Uh, back then, when I only started coloring, I had one set of color pencils. They were Faber Castell Classics, uh, and it was a set of 48 colors and I still think they were very good and I love these pencils very much uh, They are very nice for beginners. I think and they are my favorite uh, budget pencils for coloring. I Still like this page very much. I tried some different coloring techniques here and I used a lot of colors and uh, I think it turned out very nice especially for the beginning. So now let's go to the beginning of the book. And uh, this page was done during the COVID lockdown, if I remember it right. Uh, usually such big uh, double page spreads take me several days, maybe a week, maybe even more. Uh, and uh, during the lockdown, of course, we all had a lot of time for our hobbies and so <laughs> so yes that was the time when i finished this page and uh, here i already used different uh, color pencils uh, by that time my uh, pencil collection grew so here i used not only the uh, faber castell classics but also different uh, brands of color pencils uh, for some reason, when I'm coloring such big and detailed pictures, I leave all the creatures, for example birds or butterflies, uncolored until the last moment. And about this picture, my friend Maria told me that this bird, when it was still uncolored, looked as if it didn't belong to this page, as if it came from a different page here. Uh, the next page here was a little challenging to color because of all the tiny details. So I used different fine liners to color it. I couldn't imagine coloring it with pencils. Uh, so I used different fine liners and in the end I decided not to add any background because I was afraid that uh, all these details will be just lost if I tried to color the background here. And the next page here was done with color pencils only. And uh, this is one of my favorite pages from this book. I really like how it turned out. I like the colors here. And I really like how they look together. For the next page, for this owl, I used two color palettes uh, for inspiration. I combined them and I really like how it turned out. And uh, for this page I used color pencils and uh, some white Posca pen for small details and also a Sakura glaze pen, the black one, for the eyes. For the second page here I used a metallic watercolor for the background and uh, color pencils for the rest. Uh, I didn't try to uh, make the colors of these two pages identical, but I tried to match some colors. For example, these leaves are the same on the both pages, and also uh, I used some similar colors, for example, these purple and uh, greens, but they are not totally similar. Still, I think they look very nice together. For the next page here, I used a limited color palette with these autumnal colors, uh, but in the end I also added purple for the background, because I really wanted these leaves to stand out. 
And for the next page here, I didn't plan any color palette. I just started coloring with whatever colors I wanted, whatever I felt like using, and I really like the result. For this double page spread, I used color pencils again, and I used some very light tones for the background. Uh, also, this page says uh, create more caterpillars, chrysalises and butterflies, and I cheated a little. I didn't want to draw them, so I just used some stickers, and this uh, dream catcher is also a sticker. I actually really like how these stickers match the butterflies that were already drawn on this page. They are the same size and the same style, so I I'm really satisfied with the result. Uh, the next double page spread was a real experiment for me. I colored it using only water-based mar markers and some Posca markers. No color pencil, no other materials here. That's why the colors are so bright. They are a little too bright, a little too bold for me, for my usual style. But it was a very interesting experiment, and I also like the result. Uh, so I used the water-based markers for everything, and for the background too. And uh, Posca markers were used for some tiny details here, and for the outlines of the flowers. The next page is also very interesting, because for me it was a rather difficult page, I didn't know what to do with it. Like, I didn't know what colors to use, I didn't know uh, how to make it look pretty. But then, uh, after watching some inspirational videos by different colorists, I realized that it doesn't have to be perfect. And actually it was a very liberating thought, because it gave me some freedom just to have fun with this page. So I used uh, my uh, Sakura metallic pens for the leaves. I have three different shades of green, so I used them here as a gradient. And uh, in the end I also added some glitter glue. Uh, so yes, this turned out to be such a fun little page for me. Uh, the next page is another favorite page of mine. I really like the, uh, the colors here. And uh, what I wanted to do with the background was uh, to make the flowers stand out. So I tried to use some colors that would give the flowers some contrast. For example, this purple with the turquoise flowers or this uh, turquoise background for the yellow flowers. And I think it worked. For the second page here, I started with the limited color palette and uh, I colored the flowers and leaves with it. But then when I started coloring the background, I felt like I wanted to add some more colors to it. So I created this gradient uh, from the dark red to yellow. So now it doesn't look like a limited color palette, but it's still nice and these two pages also look nice together. Oh yes, this is a very long work in progress. I've been coloring these bugs for ages. Uh, I use a lot of references for this page. I look for some colorful and beautiful bugs and then try to recreate them on this page. But not all of them are realistic. For example, this one is a total product of my fantasy. Uh, and my favorite one is this. Please let me know in the comments which one do you like. Uh, for this flower ornament, I used some Ukrainian motifs. I used yellow and blue colors for the uh, flowers. And also I used a lot of red here, which is also a traditional color of Ukrainian embroidery. As for the second page here, uh, I used some uh, absolutely random notebook cover for inspiration. I really like the color combination of orange, turquoise and green on that cover and uh, that's why I used these colors here. 
And here is another page that took me ages to finish, but it is finished, finally. <laughs> so I used some reference for some of these butterflies, but not for all of them. For example, these and some others are realistic, and uh, the others are fantasy ones, such as these and these. And I decided not to add any background here, uh, because this page is so colorful that I couldn't think of any color that would fit for the background. So I left it like it is. For these sunflowers, I didn't want to use the traditional uh, colors and the usual color combination of yellow and green. So I played with colors a little. I still used uh, yellow for the flowers, but I used uh, this dark purple for the flower centers instead of black or brown. And also I used uh, different colors for the leaves and other flowers. And another sunflower here. Uh, this time it, is, it looks more traditional. And uh, here was only one sunflower on this picture and I added two more. It is colored with watercolor with some pencils over it and I uh, think that pencils over the uh, watercolor base really created some depth for this picture. Uh, and also I used some Posca pen and some white acrylic uh, paint here. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite pages in this book and in all my coloring books. Uh, again, I think I finished it during the COVID lockdown and uh, I used three different color palettes for it. I combined them and also I used uh, some uh, um, colors that were brighter and bolder than the colors in the palettes. So, uh, I really like the contrast here between the purples and greens. And uh, also I used some uh, gold sakura pen here for the details and some white Posca pen also. This page was inspired by a painting of uh, Vincent van Gogh. Uh, the painting called Almond Blossom. Uh, I used some watercolor uh, paints for the background and uh, also for the branches and for leaves. And then I added these uh, flowers with uh, acrylic white paint. And uh, the birds were colored with pencils. Uh, I really like these colors. This double page is also one of the first pages colored in this book. Uh, I think maybe it was the second one, actually. I used a lot of colors here, but uh, I really like how it looks after all. It's rather realistic, it's not too colorful. So, yeah, still one of my favorite pages here. Here I wanted to use a limited color palette and to create a little gradient from uh, light blue to darker blue, then to purple, to pink, then orange and yellow. And uh, for the rest of the picture I used the same uh, colors, the same shades of pink, of uh, light blue. Uh, here is another page that was colored only with pencils. And here I also tried to keep somehow limited color palette. I used only pink and yellow shades for the flowers and different shades of green for the leaves. And a few shades of blue for the background. Uh, this page was my first experiment with watercolors in Johanna Basford books. And uh, also I used some watercolor pencils for the smaller details here and uh, some pencils for the bees. And here for these dandelions I used white Posca pen 
to cover the uh, black lines and to create this fluffy impression. And here we came back to this page again, which is my first colored page, but also the last colored page in this book. Uh, and that's all for Secret Garden. Uh, the next book is Enchanted Forest, and I don't have that much colored pages here. And the first one is this huge double page, uh, which was a, a work in progress for ages. I didn't try to make both sides symmetrical. Uh, I only used the same color for the trees on the sides. and. Uh, for the central trees, I used silver and gold metallic pencils and also metallic uh, sakura pens. The idea of this page was to create two different halves, one that would look like summer and the second one that would look like autumn. And in the end I decided not to use much colors for the background and uh, to fill in just a little in the center. Uh, this page was inspired by scenery from a game, from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, I used watercolor for the background, these different shades of lavender and purple, and uh, then some acrylic paints uh, to uh, paint these white flowers on the top of uh, watercolor. Uh, for this deer I used uh, pencils and uh, his antlers and the leaves on his uh, back are uh, colored with a gold color pencil. And uh, these little birds are all colored with pencils and also I use some references for them. So um, I looked for some bright and colorful birds and uh, then colored them according to the reference. Uh, the next page is also one of my early colorings. And here I didn't keep to any color palette, I just experimented, I just tried different color combinations. And uh, this one is my favorite. Please let me know which one do you like. Uh, and here also I decided not to add any background, because there were enough colors for me on this page. So I left the background white as it is. Here, the tree on the left is colored with watercolors, with some pencils over it for shading. Uh, here I used another color palette for inspiration, and uh, when I colored the trunk of the tree, my friend Agi told me that it looked like muscles from some anatomical atlas. So yeah, please, enjoy my muscle tree. And uh, the second tree here on the right is colored with color pencils only. Uh, now I think that the colors look a little bit too dark, but it is some mysterious tree house, so I guess it's okay. And here is an interesting uh, page, because for the background I used the uh, sky map as a reference and tried to recreate the real constellations. I used a lot of uh, white Posca pen for constellations and uh, please let me know if you recognize some of the constellations. Uh, I can find at least two of them here. Not sure about the rest, but I think at least two of them are recognizable. So please let me know in the comments which one or two you found. And uh, for the leaves, I tried not to use uh, totally symmetrical colors, you can see it. I didn't try to match both sides, I just uh, tried to uh, use warm colors in, on the top of this page and uh, some uh, colder uh, shades uh, on the bottom. Here is another uh, double page spread that I really like. Uh, I didn't have any plan for it. When I started, I just used whatever colors I wanted and uh, it ended up rather colorful, but I still like it because uh, somehow this uh, color worked together. The page is colorful, but not crazy colorful. So yeah, I, I really, really like it. 
And here is the last colored page in this book. Uh, here I used only colored pencils and again white Posca pen for the stars. Uh, here I'm really satisfied with the lighting effects and uh, also I didn't want to add any background around this central part. I just added some stars drawn with pencils. So that's all for Enchanted Forest, but also I have a Magical Jungle coloring calendar by Johanna Basford. Uh, it is from 2018 and shame on me, I still haven't finished it. I have only two pages done here. For the first one I used a lot of reference for these uh, uh, tropical flowers and butterfly and the bird and uh, I really like how it turned out. This color combination really works nice for this kind of uh, tropical scenery. So yeah, I really like how it turned out in the end. And the second page colored here is this little chameleon. I didn't want to make him too colorful, so I kept uh, this palette to few colors. And also I added some light background drawn with uh, pencils here. I hope you can see it on the video. So that's it for the first part of my coloring book collection. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time!